Welcome back amigos to another After Effects tutorial and super excited about this one. I'll make the template available for you to download. It's already all set up for you to go. I also added some enhancements to this template. So if you want to check it out, click on the link in the description. For this tutorial, we'll be using this audio track as our example. Let's double click so we can open in the footage window. And this is from Epidemic Sound. Let's check it out. Okay, the steps to create this music NFT, you can use any audio file, just follow the steps. Go back to the composition window and what we'll do is we'll drag our audio file to the new composition icon or button and it'll create a comp for you. And what we'll do is we'll rename this, hit enter and let's rename it to music NFT and hit control K, command K to go into the comp settings and make the width 1080, make the height 1080 now the frame rate doesn't matter for this example, use a frame rate that works best for you. And automatically it calculated the duration based on the length of your audio track. Now hit okay. And let's make another copy of this comp control D command D to make a second copy hit enter. And this one will be the album cover. So let's name it album cover, double click to go inside. We'll delete the audio track and we'll be using this image as our album cover. So let's go back to the composition and let's bring in our image, hit S for scale and scale it down and we can bring it down. Perfect. Now let's go back to our music NFT and hit control Y command Y to bring up the solid settings and let's create a solid layer. Let's make sure that it's comp size and the color doesn't matter. So you can give it any color. And now what we want to do is we want to create a mask at the edges of our comp. So let's go up to the shape tool, go to the ellipse tool, make sure that your layer is selected and double click. And we have a perfect circle at the edges. Hit control T command T to bring up the mask transform tools and holding on to control shift or command shift. Let's make this smaller. And this mask, let's call it circle mask. And this layer, let's rename it to audio spectrum. And what we'll do is we'll set it to none. And now let's apply the effect that will generate the audio spectrum for your track. Go up to effect, go to generate and go to audio spectrum. We'll go to the effects window. And the very first thing that you need to do is load your audio track. So where it says audio layer, go ahead and select your track and let's play it back. And automatically it's working, but what we'll do is we'll tweak these values and these parameters. The second thing is we created a mask. So we want to apply this effect on our mask. So where it says path, let's go ahead and select circle mask, which is the mask that we created. Let's play it back so you can see how it looks. Okay, we'll leave the frequency, the start frequency at 20 and the end frequency at 2000. But note that you can adjust those parameters. The bands, we'll leave it at 64. The maximum height, let's drop it down to 300. And the audio duration, let's make it 0.5. So this plugin will react quicker to the audio track. And the thickness, let's make it 15. And what we'll do is for the softness, let's make it zero. Now you can change the colors here, but what I'll do is I'll make it white because later on we'll add a gradient ramp for the color. And you have options to choose digital analog lines or analog dots. But we'll stick with digital and you can also select side A. You can select side B. And you can also select both sides. And we'll check duration averaging as well. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll add some color. You have a couple options. You can go down to generate. You can go down to fill to add a color. Let's delete it. You can go back to generate. You can add a gradient ramp. 
or in the example that I created, I added the four color gradient. And for this color, let's modify it a little bit. And you can adjust the points of this gradient. And you can also modify the colors. All right, let's check it out. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll place it in 3D space. Let's go here and turn on the 3D switch. Let's create a camera, go up to layer new. We'll go to camera and you can select any of these presets. We'll go ahead and select 28 millimeter. Make sure that your camera is selected. Go back up to the layer menu, go down to camera and let's create orbit null. And what we'll do is these two layers. Let's color code it. And let's go to the orbit null, go to the rotation properties and go to the audio spectrum, go to the rotation properties as well. And what we'll do is for the orientation for the X value, let's make this 270. And now for the camera orbit null, what we can do is we can rotate this. And there we go. And you can bring up the camera tools up here. We can dolly back. And let's go to our project window. Let's go to our album cover. Let's bring it in. Let's place it beneath the audio spectrum. Let's place it in 3D space. Let's scale it down to 50%. And let's add a bevel. Go up to effect, go to perspective, and we'll go to bevel alpha. And go back to the effects window. And let's make this value 10. Let's zoom in so you can see this. And if I disable it, enable, you can see that we have a bevel on this. Now to make it look 3D, we'll fake the 3D by adding copies of this layer and place it behind it in 3D space. So what we'll do is let's go to the album cover, control D, command D to make a copy. And the second copy, what we'll do is we'll delete the bevel alpha, hit delete. Let's go ahead and add a fill color, go to generate, go to fill and we'll make it black. And if we solo this layer, toggle the transparency grid so you can see it. This is what it looks like. And we'll go to the left view. And what we'll do is, let me pull back so you can see what's going on. For the Z value, let's push it back. Let's unsolo this. Let's zoom in and we'll push it back 15 pixels. So the first one is right here and the second one is right here. Let's make a couple more copies. And this one, we'll push it back 30. Another copy and this one will be 45. One more. This last one will be 60. So now let's go back to active camera and let's add a background. What we'll do is hit control Y, command Y to create a new solid layer. And again, the color doesn't matter because what we'll do is, let's rename it to BG. We'll add a gradient and go back to effect, generate. Let's go to gradient ramp. And I like using radial ramp. And for the end color, let's go to the blues and let's select a dark blue color. And then what we'll do is we'll sample this color and let's just bring it up. It looks pretty good. Now let's check it out. Okay. Now what we can do is we can add a reflection. So go to the first album cover. Let's make a copy control D command D to make a copy. And then we'll place it all the way beneath all the other album covers. Let's rename it to reflection. And then we'll delete this effect. And what we'll do is go to the rotation properties and let's rotate it, let's make it 180 and go to the position properties. And for the Y value, let's bring it down and we'll make it 1080. And let's, what we'll do is for the camera orbit null, go to the rotation properties and let me rotate this so you can see it. We can also go to custom view one. So you have another perspective. 
Now for this reflection, what we'll do is let's go back to the reflection, go to the opacity, T for opacity. Let's bring it down, dial it down to 50% and let's add two effects. Number one is let's add some blur, but a fast box blur and we'll make it, let's try it out with three for the radius and one more. We'll go to transition. Let's go down to linear wipe and let's change the wipe angle. I believe it's 180. And let's go to the completion and we'll make it 70% and let's feather it 200 pixels. Might drop this down to 60. You might play around with this. Now let's go back to our active camera or camera one. And there you go. You have the reflection. You can go to our camera one orbit null, go back to the rotation and feel free to animate this and add keyframes. For example, for the Y rotation, we can rotate this and now you can see that the album cover we have some thickness but we're faking the 3d look if you want you can place the depth closer to each other we space them out 15 pixels you can space them out maybe every two pixels four pixels or five pixels so definitely experiment and see what works best for your project and we'll add some simple keyframes let's go back what we'll do is we'll start right here at minus 10 Let's add a keyframe at zero. We'll jump to about 30 seconds. And then we can rotate this maybe 15 and go to one second. Rotate it the other direction, opposite direction. Just feel free to add some keyframes. You can also rotate the Z rotation as well, but we'll leave it at zero. So this is what we have. And if you want, you can add easy ease F9 to smooth it out. Okay, let's add some text. What we'll do is we'll go to the text tool and for example, type in chill step. And for the character panel, let's go to the character panel. If you don't see it, go to window, make sure that character is turned on. I'm using this font called Euro style. This is an Adobe font, so you should have access to it. Feel free to copy the settings. We'll go to the paragraph, make sure that it's right in the middle. We'll align it and we can change the color. We can add some glow, go to stylize and we'll go to glow. And what we'll do is let's make this 40 and let's place it in 3D space. And what we'll do is let's go to the top view so we can see it. Let's bring it forward. Go to the active camera, go to the position property and we'll go minus 100 and we can bring it down as well. Maybe 225. So let's check it out. Okay. And then we can make another copy and this second copy, let's delete the glow and let's bring it all the way down and we can change the color. We can scale it down and we can add the name of the artist. For example, in this case, we'll just put CM de la Vega. Now you can see that the audio spectrum is getting cut off. So you have a couple options. You can go back to the spectrum and you can decrease the maximum height, for example, 200. Or what you can do is you can go to the mask and go to the mask properties and we can scale this down. Let's go hit control T command T, but you need to select the mask first and let's scale it down and see if this works a little bit better. Let's see. There you go. So you can see that we're getting cut off. Another option is to create a bigger solid layer. For example, maybe 4k or 6k. We can always scale this up. And then the audio duration, we can always perhaps make it one. So those are different options that you have, amigos. And to finalize this, it's getting a little long, but what we'll do is we'll create an adjustment layer and let's call it optics. And let's go to effect, let's go to distort and go down to optics compensation and we'll make it 35 and we'll reverse it 
And then let's make a copy of this adjustment layer and we'll call it blur. We'll delete the optics and let's add some blur. Go to blur and sharpen and we'll go to fast box blur. You can also use Gaussian blur, but we'll go and make it, make it three and go to the ellipse tool. Let's create a mask, double click. What we'll do is we'll invert it and we'll feather it MM for the mask properties. And let's feather it. Let's try it with 100. And then we might want to increase this a little bit. Let's see, maybe five. Definitely play around with this. And let's check it out. Let's go here at 15. We'll go to 30. Okay, let's check it out. Now to render this out, what you'll do is we need to add it to the render queue. So hit control M, command M to go to the render queue. And we'll go and hit Q in AME, which is Adobe Media Encoder. So we'll wait until Adobe Media Encoder loads up and then we'll save it as an MP4. All right, so we have it. So just make sure that you select H264. And what you can do is you can do match source high bit rate and that should give you good options and simply find the location just make sure that you'll render it in the right location and then just hit this button to start the queue and it'll render as an h264 as an mp4 and you're ready to upload your music nft into your platform and hopefully you have a successful nft and that is it, amigos. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count.